A couple of months ago, my husband and I were driving down a back road that followed along a railroad track, and from the road, I saw this giant pile. I swear there were thousands of railroad spikes. So we obviously had to pull over, we collected a couple of buckets, and this is the first project that I've got to use them for. So you can definitely expect some more railroad spike projects in the future, but for today, I'm gonna show you how to turn a railroad spike into a coat hook. If there is a railroad spike project that you would like to see me make, whether it's something you've seen before or something that you've dreamed about, definitely let me know in the comments below and I may just make your dreams come true. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell for more super trendy, budget friendly ways to decorate your home. You can also find me on Instagram at timberandt underscore for more behind the scenes. The first thing we need to do is cut our railroad spike to length using a grinder. You could also use a hacksaw to cut it. Make sure you go over the cut edges to make it nice and smooth and get rid of anything that may be sharp. Then drill a hole that will fit the screws that will be used later for assembly. I used my drill press with a 964 fit. You could also use a regular hand drill for this part. I went down about half to three quarters of an inch. And make sure you lubricate while you're drilling so that the bit doesn't get too hot. I just used WD-40. Then using our threading tool, you can thread your hole. I used an 832 tap, which you can find a link to in the description below. Make sure you go in straight and you move forwards and backwards about half a turn at a time as you work your way in. To clean up my railroad spike, I just used a wire brush on a drill, but you can use any type of sanding tool or material that you have. And then wipe them down with acetone or paint thinner to get them nice and clean. Then I started on my backer, which can be as ordinary or extraordinary as your imagination allows. I drilled holes in the front where I wanted my hooks to go, using a bit that's just slightly larger than my screws. Then on the back, I used my one inch portion of bit on the drill press just to countersink the heads of my screws so that it would sit flat against my wall. You could also just use a half inch bit in your drill to do this. Then using 832 screws that are long enough to go through your board and about a half inch into your spikes, Thread them through the backer from the back to the front and then thread your railroad spike onto the screw until it is nice and snug. 